either put on a bolt or a pair of vice grips on here and this stud has to come out the reason why is in the jeep our steering box is right there that piece so a bolt right here so that way we can adjust it this is for those of you that are going to keep the ac compressor so if you are and you're going to do ac just loosen it up remember counterclockwise to loosen cleaned up all the threads because my threads are a little dirty grabbed the bolt and I went to put it on. I was like, oh, that's not very smooth. So grabbed my wire brush, a little bit of penetration fluid, shot it up and scraped it up a bit. Next thing I've purchased, as you can see, is some M8 by 80 Allen key bolts. This way we can countersink the bolt that we need to right here. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is pull out our compressor right here and lift it up, slide it on, so that way we can make sure we take out the portion we need to on the right end. So let me quickly put this together. Now again, you need to have a compressor pre-2015. So what I actually have here is a 2012 compressor, um, just because I bought brand new. I just went straight for it and grabbed it. So go ahead, slide it on, let's see. Now that we've done that, you're gonna take a look here, and this is our AC. You'll notice that this will plug in, so we know it's the right one. I'm not gonna actually plug it in right now because we'll do that later. I've hand put in the bolts. First thing that we're gonna wanna do so we don't wreck this wiring harness by accident, take this Phillips out and get the plug out of the way. Then we're gonna mark right here with a marker an angle because we're gonna have to actually either die grind or grind uh, this angle deeper. And we're gonna drill a 9 16th hole in here so we can recess the bolt. Now I've made a small little bit here now the next thing that I would suggest we do first is before we start die grinding this, let's countersink this bolt. And the reason why is we might as well do it when we have a very nice surface to go off of. After you do this, the drill bit could wander and do things. So see how we are currently countersunk in? We don't want to go too deep because we don't want to go through that whole thing. So what I did is I went just past the head, like just, it's literally in line with it. So from this point, what I would do is bolt it back up and then we'll hit it with a die grinder. Or if you want, you can start die grinding it in here. I might even do that. This is a really thin metal, so you should be able to go through this like sandpaper. And literally, I ended up doing this with a half inch bit and then all I did is I slowly went around with the half inch, slowly going and working it around. And all I did is I went a little bit, checked it out, pop this in, and then I just made sure I got my depth right. If you have a 9 16 bit, it's the best way, but half inch was the biggest I had. I got my battery operated Milwaukee one. I just wanna show you what I'm gonna be doing. Again, I'm doing this one-handed, so it's gonna look a little sloppy, but yeah, just do that and work it out. I used my uh, one of my screwdrivers just to hold that off to the side, but take a look at that. See how I just started to get into this hole here, and I've worked it out. I might even clear this one up, but make sure there's no burrs. Keep it nice and smooth, which it is right now, but I might eat just a tiny bit more off this corner. Other than that, that's looking good. From there, I would completely vacuum this entire thing, the uh, compressor, because of course, as you can see, we've still got these plugged, which you should always have those plugged anyway. And after that, get those all uh, vacuumed up so we don't have any of that get transferred onto the engine and the other stuff. See this right here? Make sure you pull up and slide that off. You're probably gonna end up like zap strapping or keeping this over here away from the pulley without that being in the way. You don't want that clip accidentally getting caught and we don't want this getting caught in the pulley. So just make sure it's over here, that clips in and it's out of the way. Next, I'm probably gonna throw a little bit of red Loctite on here and I'll give you the torque specs for the bolts on the AC. This bolt and this bolt torque down to 17 foot pounds or 23 Newton meters. What I'm gonna actually do is with this bolt, I'm gonna throw a tiny bit of red Loctite on there and like I said, this bolt right here, and this is going to be a 
HW6 or a six millimeter Allen key. Grab yourself your six millimeter or HW6 Allen key, 21 foot pounds, and then grab your 13 and 21 foot pounds and 21 foot pounds. After that, you're good to go. Some people say 17 foot pounds, but you know what? Every other bolt on that front cover is 21 foot pounds. So that's what it got. Didn't want too much. So as you can see, it's still loose. I don't want that uh, connector to be being pulled on. And I made sure this has no, a little bit of tension, but not enough to be pulling on the wires down here. Used a really good quality zap strap. And now that's coming up over here and I'll clean up this wiring later.